Okay, so we're getting ready to grind the countertops. You can see here that I've already got the uh, faucet removed and some of the chips epoxied around the sink. This is some of the, uh, the uh, grinding that I've done. Uh, it works really good, actually. Just takes a little bit off, but it takes the, the polished edge off and the epoxy will be able to soak in with the primer. So we're gonna get ready to tape off everything. Here's the countertops. Take the stove out. And it's gonna take me a little bit of time to put all the plastic down, but today is D-Day the day that we start with this long-awaited project. So I'm putting coasters on, little felt coasters, so I don't scratch my floor. Hopefully these will work. It's important to unplug it first. And then we're gonna stick the pads on the bottom here. We're ready to move this out. So a little trick that I saw on um, a tutorial for the company that we're getting the epoxy from was your plastic comes in a roll like this. Instead of unrolling it and measuring it, you can just kind of get it close here with your hand of where you're going to cut it. Hold on. <laughs> um, and we're just going to cut it right here. And that way it's the perfect width. Okay, so um, basically all the plastic is on the front of the cabinets, the plastic's on the floor. Um, and I made these little dams out of uh, cardboard. I've seen this on some of the videos and the tutorials. Uh, and I think it'll just minimize the amount of epoxy that ends up on the floor when it drips, because it will drip. So at this time, I'm going to get the grinder out, set up the vacuum, and start grinding the tops. So I have the counters ground down with the grinder. As you can see, there's no more sheen on it. I just wanna say that it's very important that you wear a good mask because um, you don't want granite dust in your lungs. Okay, so both of the holes are filled so that the epoxy doesn't run down inside. Next, I wanna uh, tape off this edge really good, put plastic in the sink, Okay, so the sink is all taped off, trimmed out, plastic is in here. Also the holes are taped up so that no epoxy will drip down in. And on to the next thing. So we did have a little bit of a challenge on this counter top. The top, actually, I think I ground down the top in about maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes. But the problem, that we ran into were these edges. 
these edges, I couldn't find a tool that would sand them, so we had to do them by hand. So my wife and I were up late last night. Our thumbs are a little sore from holding the sandpaper, but I think we, we've we got them roughed up. We've got the, the polish off, and we're going to go for it because at this point, I, I think it'll be fine. I think the primer will adhere to it just fine. They, they're porous. But that was the big hassle. If you have a, uh, a fancy edge like we do, that's a little bit more work, but it's still going to be worth it. So next, we're going to be uh, tack clothing these to get up all of the, the dust and contaminants. And then we're going to be mixing the primer and we're going to start to prime the countertop. So hopefully we'll be able to do the pour in about an hour and a half after the primer sets up. So I'm excited, a little nervous at the same time, but I think that's understandable. So um, yeah, let's, let's tack cloth these and then let's mix the primer up. So we're getting ready to apply the product onto our countertops. And I wanted to let you know who we chose to go with in purchasing our product. We went with a company called Ligari Products. They're based out West. And I have to say, They've been one of the best companies to work with, I think I've ever dealt with. I have emailed them questions leading up to today's pour on what to do. They've always gotten right back to me. Very, very helpful. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just a satisfied customer that wants to give a shout out to a great company. This is one kit that which would cover 50 square feet of countertop. I had to buy two kits because I have close to 60. Very simple instructions. When you purchase the product, they will send you links in your email on how to do it, video links, which are very helpful. Um, they, you can also print and download, download and print hard copies for old dinosaurs like myself. You can jump on YouTube and just in the search bar, type in Ligari products and watch what they do. It is addictive. My wife and I have spent hours watching their videos, they're, they're so helpful. So we're getting ready now to apply the primer on our, on our kitchen countertops. And then after the primer dries, we will do the pour. And I'm excited and scared at the same time. I have a healthy respect for this. We're, we are in so far at this point, even if it turns out bad, you know what, maybe I'll just cover them with duct tape and call it good. But it's gonna be a great, great day to get the pour done and we're gonna, take you along with us on this journey. So I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video for this company if you ever want to use them. And it's a, it's a very economical way to upgrade your kitchen without spending thousands and thousands of dollars. So let's get to it. This is the primer right here. Kind of just goes on like white paint. Get it all evened out so that it has good coverage. Actually goes a long way, I'm surprised. Okay, so the countertops are all primed. They recommend that you prime the edges twice because I think you have, um, it's more porous on top than it is on the side. So I think they do that to uh, guarantee a good adhesion. And I have already put part A and the color, the pigment in one bucket. I'm gonna add part B. You mix it for about two minutes and then you um, pour it into another bucket, scrape everything out of this one, mix it in this one, and then 
this guarantees that you're not going to have unmixed hardener or pigment in the bottom. So it just in, it ensures a, a better mix. This is what Ligari has said on their website. So we're getting ready to do that. It is 70 degrees in the house and we are real close to the epic moment. Stay tuned. This is how you de-shed a roller right here to get all the loose fibers out of it so that it doesn't end up in your epoxy right here. We're gonna let that drain out for about a minute and we'll tip it back and redrain it because some of it gets trapped in the handle. And then we're gonna start mixing it with the drill. And then we're gonna transfer it into this bucket, scrape everything out good, mix it, and then put it into the two smaller buckets so we can handle it better and get it right out onto the counters. So the, the one thing that I'm gonna to have to stay up on is this top edge is a sharp edge and the epoxy wants to kind of drain off it and then leave a little bit of a dark spot. So um, I'm just staying on it to make sure that it's covered. I will say this product is so smooth to work with and it levels so nicely. And as you can see, it just looks beautiful. It's, it's a self-leveling, it's, um, it really is wonderful to work with. It's like butter. So we're just trying to get everything evened out um, to where it's level, not, not piled up too much in one area. But so far, I'm really, really, really happy with how it's turning out. I think it's turned out fantastic. So the countertops have turned out 
absolutely amazing. I love the matte finish. It just looks so good. It really does. Now, it was a long day yesterday, and you got to stay on it. You got to work it, but I'm telling you, this looks so incredible. So great product. Very happy with it. You can get an idea there. Uh, going over granite, this is crazy, but I'm excited. So next, we're going to be putting up the backsplash. And once we get that up, it's going to go all the way around, all the way around the window. Uh, that's going to take probably just doing it here and there, probably a week or two. But um, I'll include you in on the process. So we're looking forward to getting this kitchen finally done. And I think the cabinets even look better without all of the brown. So very happy with it. Okay. We'll keep going.